Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Getting Snacky with Daryl. As you can see, we are going to be reviewing Dunkaroos. Yes, folks, they are back. Uh, discontinued back in 2012 here in the States. And they are back for 2020. Something good to look forward to, I guess, uh, which is awesome. Uh, side note, when I was doing a little research, apparently they have been always a thing in Canada until most recently. I think they've only been discontinued for like a year or so. So they've actually had Dunkaroos in Canada for a while. Um, but anyway, I'm happy that they're back. Uh, they are coming back with one of their flavors. Uh, as of right now, it is vanilla cookies with vanilla frosting and rainbow sprinkles. I know they did have chocolates with uh, uh, either chocolate icing and vanilla icing, and they also had something with like strawberry icing. I'll be honest, it's been a long time since I've had these, probably like middle school, maybe once or twice in high school for a quick little snack. Um, but I am happy that they are back for, uh, for their return. Don't call it a comeback. All right, so Dunkaroos quickly notice uh that there's no kangaroo on the packaging now i'm not sure if there was any kangaroo on the display that i saw when i got these um and i got these at 7-eleven yes yeah, 7-eleven so i believe that's the only place they are offered right now as of now 7-eleven that's what i've seen the reports online and that's actually where i got it i took a walk to my local 7-eleven and found them there i found mine at the cashier counter there was not a big display down one of the aisles on like or on the on the end caps, but I did find it at the cashier and there was actually a handful of them missing. So that means people have been grabbing them impulse buy. I don't know. Nostalgia, probably like, whoa, Dungaroos. Let's go grab one or two of these. Uh, these were $1.99. Um, so they're not necessarily cheap, but we'll see if, if it's worth it. All right. Uh, $1.99 for some nostalgia and some uh, sweet snack. Uh, let's just go right in. Let me go. All right. Let's see. Well, okay. Let me grab a cookie. All right. Sorry. You guys can see that. It's a little cookie with an imprint of a letter D. And you got your frosting here sorry it's kind of hard you can kind of see some of the sprinkles sorry i just don't want to drop all these cookies put this down here let's just go in for a a bite um let's dunk in <laughs> let's go for a dunk dunkaroo uh, again uh, vanilla cookies with vanilla frosting with rainbow sprinkles nice little dab nice little little dunk there <laughs> it is vanilla cookies with frosting. Um, I know as a kid, we were probably like, oh man, what an amazing combination. But it's cookies and frosting. Kind of, it's as simple as it can be and it tastes just as good. Um, actually, I really like the cookies. I really like this uh, vanilla cookie. Now, when it comes to flavors in general, if you're picking it from certain things like chocolate or vanilla, I am definitely a vanilla guy. So the vanilla frosting, the vanilla cookie does appeal to me. I'm not saying that I wouldn't have chocolates or any other flavor, but um, I'm, I look forward to this. So anyway, Dungaroos, there's probably, I don't know, like 15, at least 15 cookies in here and a decent amount of icing. So it just depends on how much of a sweet tooth you have is whether or how much if the icing will match with your cookies. But I think you should be able to figure it out um, to each their own, of course. Man, now Dunkaroos. I'm glad that they're back. Sorry, I'm just like looking at it. And uh, and I'm really wondering where this uh, kangaroo is at. Anyhow, Dunkaroos, I give it a thumbs up. Now, I'll probably be one and done when it comes down to it. Definitely not having two packages. Um, uh, and I would be, I would be fine. Very satisfied. So definitely, uh, very sugary and sweet, uh, for those sweet tooths. I give it a thumbs up. Definitely go check it out. I'll definitely bring back the nostalgia back to your, to back when you were a kid. And 
I don't know. There's nothing more I can really say. It's good. It's Dunkaroos. <laughs> They're back. Now, let me know what you guys uh, think. If you already had it yet, did it did it live up to the expectations? Uh, for depending on how long you guys have had it uh, since the last time you had it. Also, I want to know what other snacks that have been discontinued that you want to be brought back. I'm trying to think offhand. You know what? Something that always comes back to mind is Ecto Cooler. I know it's not a snack. It's more of a drink. Well, it is a drink, but Ecto Cooler. I want Ecto Cooler to come back. But let me know what uh, what other uh, snacks you want to bring back that have been discontinued. Also, if you have any ideas for some reviews that you want me to try or places you want to try, um, local areas or, or whatnot. I'm in the uh, suburbs of Chicago uh, right now. So let me know what you guys think. I have some things planned out uh, in the next uh, few days and weeks uh, for things to try. So, but if you have any ideas, uh, let me know. Now, if you also, if I could do a huge favor, you guys can uh, like and subscribe. Or if you don't like it, that's fine. If you don't like these videos, let me know. Uh, I'm new to the whole YouTube game, so I could definitely use some some feedback. Uh, let me know. But definitely help me out and subscribe and share with your friends. All right, so that's enough of that. You guys know what to do. You guys have a great one, and I'll see you guys at the next. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Getting Snaggy with Daryl.